Part 1. You will hear a telephone conversation between a woman and a park ranger. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Almond Valley Poppy Reserve, may I help you? Is the nature reserve open now? Yes, we are actually open all year, although this is the best time of year to see the wildflowers. Are the poppies blooming yet? Absolutely. They started to bloom last week and are already beautiful, but they should peak and be in full bloom at the end of the month. Oh, I was planning on coming at the end of this week. Is that too early? No, not at all. The hills are already covered with orange poppies. I thought poppies were red. Not in California. I've never seen a red poppy here. The poppy reserve is in Ocean County, right? Right. From Lakeside, you'll need to drive about an hour east. What time does the reserve open? The reserve is open from sunrise to sunset. It's best to come early in the morning to beat the crowds, but for the best photography, you might want to consider a mid-afternoon visit on a weekday. I heard that there are a lot of rattlesnakes in the desert. Is it dangerous to walk about? Most wildlife is quite safe. There are very few people bitten by rattlesnakes, so we do recommend wearing trousers just to be on the safe side. All right. I was hoping that I might have the chance to see some wildlife, too. Oh, how much is the admission to the reserve? It's $5. Can I use my National Park Pass to enter the reserve? Unfortunately not, since it is a state park, not a national park. All right. I heard from a friend that there is a nature tour available. Can you tell me about it? Certainly, but can you excuse me just a sec? I'll be right back. Okay. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. Now, you are interested in the nature tours, right? Oh, there's more than one? Yes. We have the general tour, which is the one your friend may have taken, but we also have two more specialized tours. Starting at 7.30 a.m. is our general tour. That's early for some people, I know. It's offered every hour, too. But it's a great time, and it only lasts 30 minutes. Is that the tour that takes you to the Vista Points? Yes, that is one of the highlights, along with a film introducing the park and the museum. You're welcome to tour the museum at your leisure. It's a great tour for those who just want to take panoramic pictures with automatic cameras. Well, if I come all that way, I'd like to have a more detailed tour. Then you are in luck, because we have a wonderful wildflower tour every two hours from 8 a.m. It lasts one hour, and the volunteer will give you information about many of the flowers on the reserve. Besides the poppies, will cream cups be in bloom? Yes, and you will see lots of sage, too. We have a volunteer who is really good at giving tips on close-up photography. You mentioned another tour. Yes, the last one is the wildlife tour, but it is offered at very limited times. Is that because most of the wildlife is nocturnal? Yes, so we offer this tour only two times, 5.30 a.m. or 7 p.m. Wow, that early? But don't the snakes and lizards like the sun? Right. First, let me say it takes about an hour and a half, but you will have the opportunity to see other animals, like coyotes, quail, and roadrunners. You have to get here before the crowds arrive or after most of them leave. Well, that makes sense. 
Does it require a lot of walking? More like a lot of standing, but most of the time you will be at one or two locations. So we recommend bringing a tripod and zoom lens if you want to take pictures. Well, thank you very much. You've been extremely helpful and informative. You're welcome. Glad I could be of service. Goodbye. Goodbye.